So one thing that many people were confused at when it came to Avengers Infinity War, and I've had a lot of people go to an older video where I just kind of say, look, I don't think the Hulk is going to show up in Infinity War for the fight. And I said, I believe that last scene is bullshit because once we got the news that the Hulk was afraid of Thanos, that, you know, Thanos pretty much hands it to him, I was like, look, Hulk is, I think, going to be permanently damaged. Specifically that Bruce Banner, you know, what happens to him in Thor Ragnarok, he really gets roughed up and he was having a hard time. And then the Hulk thinks he's the strongest, he's in this arena and everything. And then Thanos just hands it to him in like a minute from what we were to understand at the time. I said, look, I think that the Hulk is permanently going to be hidden away and not want to come out during Infinity War. And my reasoning for that was the fact that toy marketing for everything in relation to Infinity War didn't really show the Hulk. Like, there was a few things, but it wasn't really prominent, and they kind of pushed it aside, and the reason he had, you know, the whole suit and everything, the Hulkbuster, I was like, look, it just, everything lines up, and people are like, okay, well, that might make sense, but he's in the trailer, and I was like, look, we know how they did this in Civil War and other trailers, it's a bull shot, that shot never appears in the movie, it was just there for the reasoning, and... A lot of people said, how did I know that? And I was like, no, it, look, it's just a kind of thing. And you have to really think about the story arc, what they said. And I got that idea from the fact that Kevin Feige said, the next three movies for Hulk are going to be a story arc. And once you see Ragnarok, that the Hulk doesn't want to come out because he's at the top of the world, the next natural step is that he's afraid to come out after he gets absolutely obliterated by someone. And when you start thinking of it like that, you go, okay, well... Now it's starting to like formulate this picture in your head of how they're trying to tell a story with Hulk. And sure, he's going to come back in the next one. And there's a lot of speculation on how that might happen, which I have my own theory. I want to talk about that, but I have to talk to someone first. But it's going to be rather interesting to see how it's handled. Because in Infinity War, we literally see Banner is trying to call him out, but he's resisting. That tells you right then and there on what the Hulk is thinking and how he perceives everything now. He's not the strongest there is anymore, and that frightens him. Hulk is now frightened. He has feelings. And I think that's more scary than what he was scared of.